welcome to Two Games. On this recap, Grey's Anatomy Season 18. Season 18 began with Meredith pondering what to do with her life after surviving COVID, while she travels to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota to attend the opening of a library dedicated to her mother. While she is there, she reconnects with an old patient, Dr. Nick Marsh, whom she treated years ago. Dr. David Hamilton, a former colleague of her mother's, reveals his plan to open up a state-of-the-art research center dedicated to curing Parkinson's disease with Meredith as a project's pool public face to attract talent. Bailey and Hayes interview candidates to replace Jackson and Tom, as well as Joe. Owen and Teddy finally got married in Joe's bar after several attempts of getting married. Meredith, undecided about Dr. Hamilton's Parkinson's research project proposal, flies Amelia out to Minnesota to help her make a decision. Amelia immediately jumps on board, though Meredith later revealed to Nick on their first day that she's afraid the project will fail. Meredith reluctantly tells Richard her plan to work in both Seattle and Minnesota, and he agrees to take her position as residency director. Richard tries to launch a new teaching method, where residents are to perform a lab call from start to finish all on their own, while different doctors supervise them from the distance. But Meredith and Bailey are reluctant. As Winston and Hayes perform heart surgery on Megan's son, Farouk, Ben informs Bailey that since his fellow firefighter friend Dean has now passed, Ben and Bailey are legally responsible to raise Prue, Dean's daughter. If you want to see season 5 recap of stage 19, click here. As Farouk's health gets weaker, Cormac, Teddy and Owen have to retrieve a donor heart for him. En route back to Great Slum, the driver suffers a stroke and their car ends up on the edge of a ravine. Teddy manages to climb out with the organ and heads to the road for help. Owen reveals to Cormac that he gave Noah medication to die and made a promise to do the same for other terminal veterans. But seconds after Cormac gets out, the car with Owen still inside slides down the slope. He is then rescued by Station 19 and taken back to Graceland, but his leg is shattered and requires surgery. We see how Maggie is worried upon hearing about the Weber method, which proves granted when Levi oversteps during surgery and the patient bleeds out on the table. Poor old Link practices a declaration of love for Amelia on Joe, who has trouble keeping her feelings for him at bay, only to find Amelia kissing Kai. After saving Farouk's donor heart, Winston and Maggie successfully transplant the heart. Schmidt has a breakdown, so Bailey cancels the Wilbur Method teaching program. Hayes resigns and tells Bailey that he will be returning to Ireland with his children. The day of David's Parkinson's trial surgery has finally come, so Meredith opens up the surgery to viewing by the residents to inspire them after the tragic events of the Weber method. Teddy discovers what Owen has been doing with the veterans. In Minnesota, Meredith is offered a permanent position as head of the Grace Center and chief of general surgery at the Mayo Clinic, but she is unsure whether she should take it despite Nick's enthusiasm. After Joe and Link kiss again, Joe asks Link to move out due to the growing feeling she has for him. Bailey learns that the hospital has received several anonymous complaints about the residency program and will have to undergo a review by the Medical Accreditation Council. Nick begins to work locum at Grace Lawn in order to help Meredith so they can save the program. But a begrudging Bailey lashes out at Nick. Meredith and the other attendants about the program state. Joe finally admits that she's in love with Link, but he doesn't reciprocate to her feelings. As Catherine eventually admits to Richard that her cancer has returned and progressed. After Kai and Amelia want different things in life, they finally break up. Wendell reveals that he is hiding from people he owes money to. He orders his brother to leave Seattle, but Wendell secretly stays behind, while Maggie reveals she gave $10,000 of her savings to Wendell to pay them back, but Winston later reveals he had already given him the money, and Winston refuses to let his brother steal from Maggie without any consequences. We see how a veteran's husband blackmails Owen to give drugs to his wife, threatening to expose he has illegally stolen and given drugs to veterans for physician-assisted suicide. When Teddy steps in and refuses their help, he reports Owen to Bailey. 
we finally arrive at the crucial day, when Mrs. Blake from the Medical Accreditation Board has returned to see what changes have been implemented since she first reviewed Grace Lawn, and will make her final verdict on whether the General Surgery Residency Program should be shut down. Oh, and there's a major blood shortage so any surgery has been postponed as long as possible. But for Meredith Gray, it doesn't matter much that without more blood, even low-risk procedures become dicey ones. Cora's tumor is at the juncture of a whole host of her internal organ, making it almost impossible to operate on, especially with the low blood supply. Meredith steps in. She and Nick come up with a solution an exovivus surgery, in which they will remove all of Cora's organs, operate on the tumor outside of her body, and then transplant the organs back in. But Weber immediately says no, he's the chief of chiefs from the Catherine Fox Foundation, so he has the power here. If they screw up here, it could cost them the residency program. But Meredith doesn't care what Weber says. Obviously, things go south. They can continue without more blood, but when they learn that the vehicle transporting the blood was in an accident and all of the blood they need is now scattered across the streets of Seattle, they take Cora to the ICU. But Meredith is panicking. Weber is mad. He lets Meredith have it. He yells at her for caring only about her opinion. While we see flashbacks of Meredith trying to keep Derek alive after he's been shot. But Cora is dead. Mrs. Blake can see the problems at Great Slam much more clearly. The problem is that certain people have been working here so long they become family, and that makes leadership and chain of command confusing. So she is shutting down the residency program for good. So Bailey decides to serve fresh in a surprising way. She is quitting as chief of surgery. This is a major problem for many reasons, including that Richard is also leaving, with Catherine learning her cancer is responding well to the treatment, and the two of them are celebrating by going on sabbatical. Jackson comes back and try to convince Murray to stay at Grace Lawn a little longer to help Bailey fix things. But now with Bailey leaving too, the convincing turns into begging. She can just leave this place now. He makes her interim chief of surgery. As we see how Owen's actions to help his fellow veterans come to light, leading him and Teddy to exit the country as fugitives. Before Bailey resigned, she gives them hours to leave before she can report it to the police and accepts the resignations. As Jackson and Avery and April are together again. After Avery makes Meredith interim chief of surgery, we should be celebrating this momentous occasion, right? But no one wants to celebrate right now. Least of all Meredith, who is angry and upset, Nick finds her in the, her office. They did not leave things well. Meredith is livid and beyond upset and tells Nick to go back to Minnesota. He seems to know he can reason with her right now, so he is going. After some flashbacks of all 18 seasons of this amazing show, Meredith sees herself as an intern standing in the hallway, looking back at her now. What will intern Meredith think of who she is now? What has it all been for? So Meredith bolts out the door and calls after Nick, ending season 18 of Grey's Anatomy. Thanks for watching this recap, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the big link.